spooky season is here. There's some great books. And what I'm going to do is take one of those tops from those lovely fruit squeezies. And I am going to turn it into a spider. Now I'm going to match mine. So my spider is going to be a creepy green spider. Of course, spiders have lots of eyes, so you could use smaller eyes and put multitudes on there, but I'm just going to put two. I'm going to use my tacky glue and a popsicle stick to adhere it. Now, some eyeballs come sticky back where you can peel this off and stick it on like a sticker, um, but it takes me 10 million years to do that, so I am going to stick with the glue. Plus, I don't know how well that's going to stick. Now, let's get started. We're going to take our two pipe cleaners. You can call them chenille sticks too. And you want to match them up as best as possible and fold them in half. And it looks like at this moment you have four legs, but we're gonna do something different to turn it into eight legs. So here we go. Cutting towards the back of the jaw of the scissors. So that way we keep this area damage free for cutting paper and we'll damage the back spot here. Because when you're cutting metal, the little inside part of the chenille stick, that actually does dent the scissors and will make it difficult and skip spots when you're cutting. So cutting really difficult things, cut towards the back. Now, take your little squeezy top, stick your pipe cleaner through it and then bring it back through on the other side of that post. There is that post right there, that structure that makes it strong. Pull it through and you just want to feed it through there until you get your legs to match in length and then hold it really well here and twist about three times. And then you have a set of legs and we'll bend these a little bit more later once we put the other sets on. So we're going to feed it through and then bend it and feed it back through the other side of the post. And then just push it a little bit so that way you get it to match up. Then hold it really tight and twist. I got caught on something. Oh, I see what I got caught on. There's that little safety thing. I'm going to slide that back out and there. Now I'm clear of that little safety plastic part there um, that we, the seal that we break when we open it up. Uh, okay, now I'm going to hold here and twist one two three there we go now it's starting to look like a creepy spider i am not a fan of spiders they can live outside they can catch my flies but they have to stop biting me and living in my house sliding this through they have a job to do I appreciate their job, but they're still creepy. Okay, now, we're close to matching up. Make sure I'm free of that safety seal, and it seems that way. Now, here we go, tight. One, two, three. go. Last one. Feeding it through and coming back with a bend. Match up my sides here with the feet. There we go. Now I'm going to hold on and twist. One, two, three. Okay, now I gotta do with some rearranging of my legs here. Let's put these over here. This guy feels a little loose, so I'm gonna do one more round for that one. 
Yes, that's much better. Now, yep, those are good. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is give him a little bit of more feet looking things. So I'm going to bend this. Now, be really careful here because the tips are sharp. So what I just did is I bent it once like that. And then I flattened that out. And then I bent it one more time to give him a little fuzzy foot. So it's a bend, kind of like an L. Then flatten it and then make another L. Bend, flatten, bend. Now he's got some good creepy looking feet. And that's looking good. Go over here, do the same thing. Bend, flatten, bend. Bend, flatten, bend. Bend, flatten, bend. Bend, flatten, bend. Okay. Now, making his legs, and his knees, because I'm sure those are knees of some sort. There. Oh, yes. He's looking pretty good. Now he needs his eyes. So, I gotta shake my glue up, get it to the bottom here, and then try to open it, because I don't have my tip cut. And I have the tacky, turbo tacky, so one, it's thicker, two, it dries faster. Grab an eyeball, dab on a little bit. I think I have more than enough there. So I'm going to take my two eyes and make them kiss. So that way they can share the glue. And then popping on one eye, two eyes. There is my little spider. Now you can do all kinds of awesome things with this. Uh, you could put stickers on here to give him dots, or you can use a Sharpie and make marks on him too. Or if you're using a Sharpie, you could also give him little striped legs if you wanted. That'd be really cool. I think he's going to reach for something. Give me that. There we go. Now let's <laughs> yeah. So, really simple project, fun to make. And again, if you want to use a Sharpie, you can add more design elements to it. And the great thing is the chenille will absorb the ink so you can give him stripes. And then, of course, uh, Sharpie works on plastic so you can add dots to him if you want or give him creepy stripes. Anything you want to do, you could give him fangs. I personally give him a smile because I don't want him to look scary. And that is my project. Have a good time and make lots of these and hang them all around.